Hello, welcome to the video walkthrough of doing some testing on a 555 timer. We'll be using an oscilloscope, a power supply and a 555 timer is over here. You need to make sure the probe is connected to the oscilloscope. The red probe which takes the readings is connected to a longer lead in this example but for faster circuits you need to keep the leads as short as possible. The black lead is connected to the ground of the power supply. Let's get cracking. So as you see, I'm showing you the probe connected. I'm going to show you the longer lead. That will take the measurements on the 555 timer. The black lead is connected to ground. I plug it in there. I make sure I've got 5 volts, that it's switched on, that the current is all the way around and that that is also switched on. On the screen of the oscilloscope, I'm going to be showing you that the horizontal division, the time base, is set to 1 second and the vertical division is one volt per vertical division. We can change the vertical division with this dial here and we can change the time base with this dial over here. You also need to make sure that this is set at DC using this button here which I'm going to show you and you won't be able to see because of my finger but when it moves out of the way once it moves out of the way that should be set to DC otherwise you won't get a reading first thing I'm going to read is the reading for pin 3 and we see the expected square waveform. You can see the um, LED lighting on and off there anyway. Um, I'm changing the focus and intensity dials up here just to show you how you can fiddle around with the display to get perhaps a clearer picture. I don't think I've made much difference but yeah, it was just to demonstrate it really. This is the capacitor charging and discharging on pin 2. Equally, you should get the same measurement on pin 6 as they should be connected together in this configuration. I'm also checking the power on pin 4 is a flat 5 volts there and the power on pin 8 is also a flat 5 volts. All of those tests go together to make sure that this particular circuit's working. Hope it's helped. Goodbye, good luck, see you next time.